now let us consider the test for two means right test for difference of the two means okay mu1 minus mu2 so null hypothesis is that mu1 minus mu2 is suppose 0 and uh, the difference between the two is not equal to 0 so you have the two tail test so again we have to import numpy as np okay we need two sample data sets so let me just mention like group 1 would be np dot array so here you will write the observations suppose it is 23 28 32 37 44 49 55 61 70 and 78 likewise we can get for another sample also so let that be denoted by group 2 again an array so np dot array so here let we can change the values so 30 35 42 45 46 47 48 49 we can have 53 now 59 64 72 79 and 85 so here you have the procedure as you are generating so you have the two samples first of all now you have to calculate their respective means right x bar and y bar so for that let us calculate the observed mean one so that will be np dot mean and for sample one we need oh sorry it is group one group one and observed mean two as np dot mean group two okay so let me comment that so these are your observed means observed means x bar and y bar once you have calculated these two what do we do we need to compute your observed test statistic also right so basically t is what x bar minus y bar okay so here we will compute your observed statistics so let me write that as comment calculate calculate t equal to x bar minus y bar so let that be observed statistics so i'm just using a short form here so you will have observed mean one minus observed underscore mean two so you have calculated t now right now you have to generate the bootstrap samples from these observed samples and you will calculate for each sample the sample mean would be calculated and the process will be repeated for both of them in the previous case we were gen just working with the single sample so we had the samples only from a given data set one single data set now you have two of them so you will generate from there so we will write a function to generate a bootstrap sample and calculate your ti So let us define a function so we can give that a name as generate bootstrap and here we would write the comments the arguments as data 1 and data 2 okay so these will be the input so we have to first of all draw the random samples with replacement so we will mention that as sample 1 is equal to np dot random dot choice data 1 the size of that would be length data 1 
replace is equal to true ok. So, for the second sample also we will have the same thing again we are going to draw a random sample with replacement from the second data set the length obviously would be same as two of here we have considered them of the same size once you have taken the sample you have to calculate their corresponding means okay so sample mean one would be found using numpy's mean function for the first sample and sample mean two that is the second sample mean np dot mean for the sample two okay so now what it will return is the difference between these two so sample mean one minus sample mean two okay so what have you obtained here you have obtained x bar minus y bar x i bar minus y i bar in fact so for this is just for a single sample so if i call this function again and again suppose i iterate it for 1000 times it means that we will get the difference of these two for 1000 number of times right so t1 to t1000 so now if i want to generate bootstrap n bootstrap statistics so i have not given the command for n let me just mention here as n is 1000 so generate n bootstrap statistics ti so here bootstrap sti i would use this one would be again i am going to call this function and it will be done iteratively for in range n ok so basically it means that i am going to iterate this loop for 1000 number of times ok so basically here if you see i am using this underscore this is just like a throwaway variable indicating that its value is intentionally not used ok so it is common when you have to repeat an action a certain number of times but you don't need the loop variable so here if you define i i don't need i again so i can just keep it as underscore only so once you have written this what you obtain here so this will give you a list of different ti's from t1 to t1000 okay and now we can compute your p value so p value here would be np dot mean and you will compare the absolute value of the first sorry absolute value of your bootstrap statistics bootstrap underscore st if that is greater than equal to the absolute value of the observed statistic right observed st so here actually i should write not data one it should be group one because i am storing it in group one and group two okay so this one would be again bootstrap absolute value of the bootstrap so that is bootstrap here is ti so mod of ti's is it greater than equal to mod of t so if it is then it is going to be added to your i otherwise it won't be considered right so if alpha is suppose 0 0.05 and now if you want to test whether the p value is less than equal to alpha then you print reject h naught else what are you going to print that is we fail to reject print fail to reject h naught and now we can print the observed difference that we have obtained observed difference in means so print
observed difference in means that is t that we have obtained so it will be observed underscore st sorry it won't be as is equal to sign but colon over here mm, and you also want to print suppose the p value Again, I have made some mistake somewhere. Bootstrap, boot, <laughs> bootstrap. Sorry, you have to be very careful with the spellings. If you write in hurry, it will give you various errors. So you are going to reject the null hypothesis. Observe mean difference is minus nine. and the p value obviously is much greater than alpha so you fail to reject the null hypothesis it means that the two population means that is mu1 minus mu2 that is zero that the two population means are same you can conclude that you do not have sufficient evidence to say that the two means are different obviously if you change the values over here you can get the different answer it all depends upon whatever data set that you are given to utilize the steps will be these Okay, so you can see that how to generate a bootstrap sample. If you are given two um, samples or the two sample problem for hypothesis testing, you have to test for the difference of the two means. How you can compute all those things? You can find the p-value and everything else based upon your bootstrap concept. So we have done it for test for two means. Likewise, one can do for two population variances also right if you want to test the equality of two population variances so let me write the test for population variances so again here also we have to import numpy as np now you need the sample data sets for the two populations so let us use this only group 1 and group 2 maybe we can just rename it population 1 or population 2 23 28 these are 78 and here it, you can take it okay fine so these are the two samples so you have xis and yis now you need the observed sample variances so you need s1 square and you need s2 square so these are the two samples that we have or the two data sets that we have considered now what we have to do is you have to find out the observed sample variances so what will be the first one we can use this hashtag you have to find out the comment will be observed sample variances and here the observed variance 1 can be found out using np.var and we can write for population 1 with that is it means that we are specifying it will be the sample variance and likewise you can also obtain for the second one that is so here we will write op2 ddof as one so sample variances would be calculated so you have s1 square and s2 square okay now suppose you want to test whether sigma 1 square over sigma 2 square is 1 right basically means that you want to test whether the two variances are equal you can also go for the difference of the two variances or you can look at the ratio but looking at the ratio makes more sense right because interpretation in terms of the difference of variance won't make much um, sense so we stick to so here i am just going to show you how you proceed if you have to check the hypothesis testing for the ratio of the two sample variances so in this case your test statistic would be compute the observed test statistic observed statistic that is t right so t would be basically s1 square 
so maybe here notation might be a problem so s1 square over s2 square so what will you write observed statistic is observed variance one so ratio of these two observed variance two so this is key that you have obtained now you can also specify the number of bootstrap samples that you want it is 1000 and we can write the function to generate a bootstrap sample so for that we will write define bootstrap sample we can give the arguments as data 1 data 2 and here it is going to consider for the first sample it, how will it be drawn it will be done with replacement from the first population for, from the first data set and the size of that data set would be same as the length of the current data population 1 and you will say replace is equal to true likewise you can write for the other one also so sample 2 would be so here we will just mention 2 and right. so random samples will be taken from this now for each sample we have to compute the sample variance so sample variance 1 would be np dot where numpy's function so sample yes sample 1 and we are specifying that we need the sample variance only not the population variance so sample variance 2 would be np dot where sample 2 ddf as 2 so you have computed your sample variances that is si1 square and si2 square so it is going to return you the ratio of these two right so sample where one divided by sample variance two now let us generate n bootstrap statistics that is ti's what will we do here we will mention this boot strap st so here we will write this we will call this function that is generate it, sorry it will not be generate because the name of the function here is bootstrap underscore sample here we are going to write population 1 and population 2 for in range so we are going to initiate a for loop 1000 number of times right for each bootstrap sample okay so two samples will be drawn from these two data set so and for each bootstrap sample you would be calculating the variance sample variances and finally when i call this function it will return me the ratio of the sample variances and that will be finally stored in your bootstrap underscore st once this is done now you can calculate your p value so p value over here would be np dot mean so the absolute value of this okay so bootstrap st so we'll compare the absolute values of this minus the absolute values of your observed st Okay. So, we have written this finally we are going to check if p value that we have found here is less than equal to alpha. So, then you are going to print reject h naught else what you will do you will print fail to reject
now we can print what is your observed ratio observed ratio of the sample variances so here we will write observe this one right if you want the p value also so we can give the command for that so p value would be what p value here we have used this variable p value sorry i have not written this f over here so it is not evaluating it and just write directly printing it sorry for the mistake so here the ratio comes out as 0.98 so the p value that you have is 0 0.02 which is less than 0 0.05 so we are going to reject the null hypothesis that the two variances are same okay so here you can see that i have used uh, the ratio of the two variances and that is why i have written in the bootstrap sample also i am considering their ratio only so since there is no unique way of doing in bootstrapping you if you want you can also consider the difference between these two and here also you will consider the difference between the sample variances so in that way also you can proceed sorry for that mistake please note that uh, it should have been greater than equal to right we have to compare these two it is not the difference between these two sorry okay so you we fail to reject in both the cases so this is how you can do hypothesis testing in case of situations where you do not have any idea about the population from which the samples have been taken that is basically a non parametric case next we will see how you find or how you test the claims that have been made about the population parameters in case it is coming from a distribution you know the distribution but it is not necessarily a normal distribution because for normal distribution we have a very nice theory exhaustive theory whenever you have a normal population how you can take the samples but when you have different distribution suppose it is poisson or exponential then how do you test do the hypothesis testing in those situations so that is equally important and that is um, done by bootstrap concept so we will see that next